In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a perpetual spawning system using the all new nearest particle option inside of the questions. Let's have a look at how to set this up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the X particles menu and we're going to add an X particle system. We're going to go in and we're going to hide the viewport icon. We're going to get our emitter and just change the color so we can see it better. Okay, so go to display, change the icon color. Let's just put this guy at white. We're going to go to our emitter and change the emitter shape to a circle that is 100 centimeters. We're going to set the orientation to positive Y. And then we're going to go into the emissions. We're going to keep it at rate. We're going to change the birth rate to 5, which is 5 particles per second with a speed of 12 and a radius of 5. We're going to go to the display change the radius to circles filled and we'll give this one a color let's use white for the default particle so it's just going to emit these particles and they're just going to slowly fly off now we don't want them to go anywhere in the y axes so we're going to go to our modifiers we're going to choose motion modifiers and we're going to add a limit we're going to set the limit to 100 percent in the y which means particles can never go up or down in the y-axis which means they're just going to move around next thing we want to do is we want to put these particles inside of a medium so we're going to use the drag modifier so we're going to go back to our modifiers and motion modifiers and we're going to choose drag and the density medium we want to use is treacle so we're going to add the treacle mode and we're going to set them up force multiplier down to 25%. And what that's going to do is it's just going to keep them moving slower and as they perpetually spawn, they're not just going to go zooming off into space because they're inside of the treacle and they can't move that quickly. So it just keeps them together. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in our first level of spawning. So we go to our emitter we go to the questions and we add a question now the question we're going to use in this case is particle position and the particle position we want is nearest particle for nearest particle to work we have to go back to our meta go to the extended data and enable nearest particle data because as a default the particles aren't carrying this information with them until we enable it and then the flags get set inside of each particle and it then carries that data with it so let's enable that and with the question we're going to leave it at the default which is less than 20 centimeters so what it's saying is if the particles are less than 20 centimeters apart then we can trigger an action with that so we go to our actions and we'll add an action and what this one will be is direct actions control spawning so it's going to look at the particles if they're less than 20 centimeters apart they're going to trigger the spawning action so we'll go into our spawning action and we we'll use the add spawning emitter so it creates our emitter we want it to be we want to get the speed from the default particles so we're going to change the speed from absolute to inherit with zero multiplied so we don't want it to get any multiplication on the speed we want it to spawn five particles with a variation of five let's go to our spawning emitter and we're going to change the display to the same thing circles filled and we'll give these guys a red color we'll also change the color of the original particles when the action is called so that we know it's being called so we're going to go back to the action edit to display change this one to circles filled and let's turn this one green so when they turn green that means it's being called and the spawning will happen so let's push play and we'll wait for particles to get close to each other you can see it happen there and then the particles have been spawned now nothing exciting is happening because they're not colliding so we're going to go to our dynamics and we're going to choose PP collisions 
We'll turn the bounce down to about 2%, so we don't have too much bounce in there. Put quite a bit of friction, some variation, and a bit of scatter in there. Okay, so you can now see that when they get close to each other, it creates a chain reaction where they get spawned, where they create a new spawn based on their proximity. And this will just keep going, it's a perpetual system. As soon as they're close to each other, they will create more spawns and so on and so on. Just make sure these guys are the same size, so set these ones to three as well. They don't need any speed. Display is right. Okay, so that's the basis of the system already set up. And you can add more options to it. Let's change this a bit more friction, a bit less scatter. And the drag, let's increase this a bit more. And these can be put on a surface, they can add turbulence, you can do all sorts of things to them, but you can see the organic nature of the system already in play as we're playing out. And if you want to increase this, you can do two things. You can either add more particles with the, with the original white particles, or we can repeat the whole system again inside of this emitter. So let's set that one up. So we'll go to this guy and we'll enable the nearest particle data. And we'll go to the questions, add a question, set this one up as well, particle position, nearest particle, less than, and then same action again. So control spawning. Add an emitter. And this one, we're gonna set this back to inherit and we'll have zero speed again. And then we'll just do an one particle for this one. So we don't get too crazy with the amount of particles that get spawned, but you can increase this to whatever works with your, your scene. Back to this emitter, display, circles filled, and let's go for some pink ones. And we'll go to the emissions, make sure they're the same size, so five again. And let's push play. So now we're getting even double the amount. And this can just keep playing out as you need it to play out. We also see our red guys are not the right size. So let's make sure all our particles are set to five. There we go. These guys are set to four, a uh, three. And the pink is a bit bright to see, so let's change that to a nicer color. Let's go for a yellow. It's better to see. So you get this really wonderful organic growth system using the nearest particle option inside of X-Particles 4. You can take this to another step by adding some scaling into there. So let's go to our modifiers and we're going to choose the control modifiers, control scale. We're going to set the scale on all of the particles to zero. And in the scale modifier, we're going to set it to spline. Use spline. We're going to set the maximum scale back to five because that's the size we're working with. That can be whatever size you want your particles to be. Let's just bring this down. And then we're going to add a point down and then bring this up. And then this is the duration of the growth. So now that you're going to scale up as well as spawn and grow which gives you this wonderful looking cellular dividing system 